Greetings to you and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Hope you are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to actually, you know, split your hard disk, okay? Create new partitions or better still, um, you know, combine or merge partitions, you know, whether these partitions are adjacent or not and uh, what else you know split partitions do whatever that you want with the help of what a software called mini tool partition wizard by the way today's video is sponsored by mini tool partition wizard the software is totally free okay you know we are all aware that you can use your uh your disk partition manager in of windows all right but that is cumbersome and it's not so easy, right? And sometimes you find it hard, you know, when it comes to non-adjacent disk. But with the help of mini part mini tool, sorry, with the help of mini tool partition wizard, is much much easier, and it's totally free. But of course, if you can afford the the, the pro version, then that would be great because that way you'll be able to maybe do other things that other advanced things you know that you wouldn't be able to do with the the free version but if you are just looking forward to uh, creating emerging partitions then the free version could, could get you covered for the moment you know so without much ado let me show you how you could actually split be it an internal disk or an external disk like this one you can do it you know so i have already installed mini tool partition wizard Okay, I've already installed it. It's right here, you know. If not, its installation is very simple. Open your browser. You can use any browser of your choice. All right. And simply go to, you know, simply write mini tool partition wizard or simply type, uh, you know, something like this. Um just go to this website for instance mini tool partition wizard.com slash free partition whatever manager then you just hit enter you know when you come over here then you just come and hit on what download then you make sure you open wherever the file is located Double click on it. I already have it installed, but I'll just install it again to show you how. Right, then I click on yes. I have the option to choose my language here. So I'll pick English, for instance. And I'll pick click OK. I've already installed it. They are saying if I want to install again, then they have to de um, uh, uninstall the previous one that I had installed. So I just say yes. This will take a few seconds. If I want to try the pro version, then I just stick to the pro, try pro, and then go ahead. You use it for free, like I said, and then later on they'll remind you if you want to upgrade, fine. If not, you just click on the second option, which is continue with what installing free edition. If you want to buy, then you just go ahead and buy. If not, you can continue with the installation of the free edition. Click next you know and then click next click next and then yes yes this will take just a few seconds and it's done I click on finish right so and the installation is done once the installation is done it's totally free and it will display your disk okay you also have the shortcut on your desktop it's very simple so over here i have this disk here which is my internal disk of my pc and this second disk here which is the disk of what my i mean the external disk that i've connected so for the purpose of this tutorial we will just use the external disk okay because i don't want to uh temper with my internal disk i'm satisfied with the internal disk uh, 
partitions. So if we look at disk two, which is the external disk, if I want to, but you could do it on your internal disk, there's no problem, you know, any disk at all. So if I want to work on this disk two and I want to actually, let's say, create a new partition or I want to fill some partitions or whatever, all that is possible, you know. So let's assume I want to fuse this particular space here of two giga, you know. I want to fuse it to this edge, for instance. How do I do that? I just click on it, you know, right click on it. Then I just click on what? Fuse. Or merge. Okay, merge. Then I just make sure I select it, click on next. And I say maybe I want to merge it with this H and I just click on finish. You see, it has been merged with what this H. Once you are done, make sure you always click on what apply for the changes to be applied. You know. So for now, we we are not going to apply. We make sure we do all the necessary changes, and then we apply our changes, right? So after I'm done with this, let's assume that I want to do something else. Okay, I want to also let's assume that I want to create a new partition. To create a new partition, or maybe I want to resize or split this partition or divide it. You can do whatever that you want. Okay, so I can let's right let's just click on this to select it. This this G. I'll right click on it. I could use the split function, okay, or I could use move or resize, you know, and then I will just put click put my my cursor uh, my somewhere here, and then I'll have this, you know, and this cross, and then you just left click and move to the left, and you can see that the unallocated space keeps increasing. It means I want to reduce. If I want to reduce this by, let's say, five, six, five GB or six GB, then I just do that by either moving left or right. So the unallocated space is a space that will be deducted from your initial disk size. So if you are satisfied with reducing it by five GB and you want to create maybe a new partition with five with five GB space, then you are okay. You just hit okay. And you see that this is actually 6 GB, all right? It's unallocated. I could add this unallocated space to another disk, okay? Or I could simply what create a new partition with it, if that is what I want. So if I want to create a new partition with it, then I just right click on it, and I have the option here, create. And then they'll ask me for the name. What name do I want to give to it? So I can call it, for instance, uh tutorial okay i can just call it tutorial so whatever <laughs> and then this is the this letter here by default the this letter is e so i just leave it as e unless i want to whatever and i just go ahead and uh click on okay and you see this a new disk has been created, all right? If I want, I can split any of these disks the way I want it, and I can add the space to a different disk. How do I do that? Assuming I don't, let's assume this particular, this same disk still has some space on it, so I can right click on it, right? Then I click on always, it's better to use move or resize. And then if I want to read, to have like, to take, 2 GB out of it, okay? So let's say 2 GB. I think it's 2.27, it's okay. It's equivalent to 2 GB, right? Now just hit OK. So you see, I now have an unallocated space of 2.3 GB. And I can add it to any disk that I think is lacking space. So I can add it to let's say disk. Um which this should we add it to? Let's add it to let's say disk E. Okay. So to do that, simply click on the unallocated or let's add it to any disk at all of our choice. 
So to do that, I just right click on it, the unallocated space, select it, right click on it. Sorry, if I want to add it to this particular disk, then I, I right click on this disk and then I'll click on extend. And then I click on this drop down menu and make sure I have selected the unallocated space, which is in our case 2. Point something GB, right? Is this one here 2.3 approximately is this then if i want to take part of it then i'll just take maybe a quarter but if i want to take everything you know just take everything preferably because you don't want to have your unallocated space left in your hard disk that is wasting so you just take everything and then you hit okay and you see that the unallocated space that you reduce from this G has now been added to this space here. So you see, it's very simple. Once you are done with all the changes that you want to apply to your disk, you just come and hit on apply. You can always undo, you know, or reverse your changes, all right? But if you are satisfied, then you just click on apply and you hit. And this would take just uh some time okay and once everything is done you just hit okay so you just hit okay and you are done so you see it's pretty simple thank you so much for watching